Okay, welcome to Stony Creek Tick Talk. Today we're going to learn a little bit more about insulation. Now I've been around a wee while, I've got a few grey hairs and I still can't quite work it out, KC. So um, what I'd love you to do is just take me on a little bit of a journey of the differences between Premoft and Down First. Yep. So, so obviously you've got two key here, you've got a Premaloft here, and you've got a goose down at one end, and then you've got a Premaloft blend in the middle. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly what, right. What so, well, there's big differences. So, your yeah, Premaloft is a pure synthetic. Um, yeah. So, basically, they're trying to emulate down, is what they're trying to do, but using a synthetic fibre. Um, the reason they do that, there's a few reasons for it. Um, but one of them is uh, Down's always suffered from, from dampness, from getting wet. Yep. Um, what we've done now is we've actually moved into hydrophobic down. So we've actually treated the down with a water repellent agent. So it's kind of, uh, it's, it's killed that Achilles heel that Down's always had, so. Um, so it's a synthetic product? Yep. And it is treated and it doesn't get affected by moisture? That's, all, that's correct. There's, there's okay. a big advantage. One, doesn't get affected by moisture. Yep. Also, not as affected by compression too, which is a big thing we can talk about. So in theory, if it's compressed a little bit and it's, and it's for some reason ingressed a little bit of moisture, it'll still perform to some degree. It won't perform to the level that it would if it was fully dry and fully expanded, yep. but it'll still perform Absolutely, it'll still, it'll still give you some level of warmth. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and there's a difference between Primaloft Gold and, and then these other ranks? Well, how do you, what's the difference between well, gold, the Gold to Premium. It's okay. like gold, gold, so gold, 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 gold. Yeah. So, yep. Okay, and then you move into your downs. Obviously, there's duck down and goose down. What's the key difference between those two things? Um, the key difference is your goose down. You always get higher, higher CUIs with goose down. Yep. Um, also, what a goose eats. What is a CUI? Is that like a 440 big block V8? Or what yeah, is it? Pretty much. It's, cub it's a cubic inch measure. Right. So okay. it's a measurement yep. of how how much loft you get from an ounce of down. Yep. Okay. So goose is higher. Goose is higher. Okay. Yes, goose is higher. Also, uh, geese have a different diet to ducks, um, yep. so there is no odour or anything around goose down as well. If it gets damp, duck down has a bit of a funky smell, goose won't do that. All so. Stony Creek downs are responsibly sourced. That's something that's really important, obviously. So, yep. um, and then some of the other things with the goose down versus the duck down is the treatment, the hydrophobically treated downs. Yep. Is that for what reason? Oh, that's exactly it. Uh, traditionally, when down is great because it's nice and warm, but as soon as it gets wet, um, it collapses, loses its loft, and yep. then it's no good and it takes days to dry. Hydrophobically treated down doesn't do that, so it won't lose its loft. Okay, it let's get into the detail. So we're saying hydrophobically treated down will perform when it's got much, or how good is that? That, that actually that gets a designer excited, that little boom that there. So beautiful. what is so beautiful about that, Kerry? It's the length of the barbule. So the long bit pointing out that's here, they're yep. called the barbules, and yep. the, the longer they are, then the more loft and more insulation you're going to get. Yep. So a high lofting down like that will be exactly like that, really nice long barbule. So that right there is a 9010, Example of a 9010 down, right? Yeah, yeah, 850 CUI 910 yep. down. That's beautiful. Yep. And then you find up another little bit in the. Oh, what's that? We've got ourselves a little bit of feather there. That's yeah, well, that, what's happening there is that's your Premaloft Gold down blend. So if you pick through, you can actually see the Premaloft fibres in it, and then you can see it's this is a 700 CUI. So the difference is the barbules themselves aren't as long, and they're a little bit more compact. And um, so you're still getting a good amount of warmth, but you're not getting the, the premium that you're getting from the 850. So you can clearly see that this one here, on my right, is going to hold and retain like pockets of air a lot easier. Yeah, exactly, and, and it's going to compress up. So yeah. Yeah. So, so 9010 goose down. 850 CUI. Yeah. 850 CUI. And that's Premaloft Gold Down Blend 750 CUI. Okay. And so now we've got we've got a little bit of an example of, of the differences. Yep. How do we use them? What do we use them for? Well, the thing is, yeah, the way insulation works is you're the heater inside. Yep. And you've got the cold outside. So the bigger the walls between you and warm and the cold, the, warm, the warmer you're going to be. Okay. So by packing something full of a high lofting down, it's basically going to keep that gap that you want, and it's going to keep you warm. Okay. So you put a slightly lower lofting down. You're obviously reducing that that gap, and you're not getting as much warmth. Okay. So. As a consumer, my question is, why is it so expensive? Because <laughs> it's really hard to get. Really hard, hard to, to get. get. It is. To yeah. get a, a down of this amount of loft, there's not a lot of it around, um, and it takes a lot to source it, so therefore the price goes up. It's like it. Okay, so from my limited knowledge also is, is that um, this is like obviously a beautiful bit of down there that gets you super, super excited, yeah. but it, looks, it actually looks warm, it feels warm. Um, what part of the animal is that coming from? Well, it all comes from the chest of the birds. Okay. So when you think of a feather, you think of a flight feather. Yep. That's not where the down's from. The down's from around the chest area of the birds. All the, all the down is sourced 
as a byproduct of the food industry, so no birds are actually plucked for the down. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. so, so essentially if you think of a feather, the down sits on the inside or the base of the feather and it goes all the way down, it's that little pocket between the base of the feather and the skin of the bird and that's essentially what it works. So we're basically replicating that yeah. by getting that real technically good, brilliant chest down and sticking it between two layers of products and obviously sticking it whether it be mixed with Primaloft or a straight uh, goose down product in our active and static product. So that's probably a really good, good starting point of insulation before you want to get started and get too technical, Casey. Yeah, you're exactly right, yeah. Yep.